Hi friends, it's Elizabeth from Echo with Science and Stories at Home. I like to start Science and Stories with a song. You want to sing with me? Are you ready to sing? Ready to move? Let's start with a wave. Hello to everyone, and how are you today? We've come to our story time to laugh and sing and play. And when you're up, you're up, put them way up here. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up nor down. So roll your hands so slow. Can you make your hands go really, really slowly? And then roll your hands so fast, as fast as you can make them go. And give your hands a clap, 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 and lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Good job. Oh, I brought my science bag today, like I do every week, right? There's always something different inside. I wonder what it is today. Should we investigate? Let's use all of our senses, just like scientists do, to try and learn more. Are you ready? We can use our eyes to see, our ears to hear. We can use our nose to smell and our mouth to taste. And then we'll use our fingers to touch and then we'll learn so much. Are you ready? Let's start with our eyes. Take a look at the science bag today. It has a definite shape. It's kind of long and thin at this end, and then it fills up the bag on this end. Also, can you hear that? It sounds crunchy, crinkly inside when I push on it with my hands. Let's give it a smell. Nope, it doesn't smell. Should I taste the bag? No. Maybe we could taste what's inside. I don't know. We'll find out. But you can use your hands to feel. You'll have to borrow mine today. Is it hard? Or is it soft? Huh, I'll tell you. It's hard up here. And this long skinny part is hard. But down here there's something that's sort of soft but crinkly too, not soft as a pillow. I don't know, are you ready to make a prediction? What do you think I'm gonna pull out of the bag? Make your best guess, make a prediction, and then we'll count down one, two, three, and pull it out. All right, you can say your prediction out loud. I'll use my ears to hear. Or you can keep it right in your head. Are you ready? Let's pull it out. One, two, three. Oh, ta-da! What is this? Do you know what these are called? They're flowers. You know what they are? They're signs of spring. They're a special kind of flower that blooms in the springtime. They're daffodils. Have you seen daffodils outside? I haven't seen them this year yet. Not yet, but they are a sign of spring. So look for them, because spring is just getting ready to bloom here in Vermont. I found a sign, another sign of spring when I went walking this weekend. Can you see these? Do you know what these are? These are pussy willows. And they were already bursting forth with these soft little catkins, they're called, right at the end. I love these, and they make me happy to see. That means spring is coming. It's almost here. Have you seen other signs of spring outside? I'll put our flowers right in here with our pussy willows. Oh, that looks great. Have you seen other signs of spring outside? Maybe small plants just coming up out of the ground, little green shoots getting ready to grow and grow and grow. What else have you seen? I'm curious about what signs of spring are outside right now and in the weeks to come. I thought we could do a little research about that. Have you read this book before? North Country Spring. Let's be scientists and learn more about something that we want to know more about by doing some research. All right, you ready? North Country Spring by Reeve Lindbergh. Paintings by Liz Sivertson. Let's see what we can learn about signs of spring to look for outside and in the weeks to come. 
Here's a bear batting at a butterfly. I'd like to see that. All right, it starts like this. All over the north, a new voice is heard. I wonder what voice that is. Deep as the river and high as a bird, fresh as the meadow and strong as a tree, it calls over and over, come, listen to me. Come out, calls the voice, whoever you are. Come out with the dawn and the morning star. Come out in the sun as it melts the snows. Come out with the brook as it overflows. Our snows are melting. Spread out, it sings to the trees. Be first, fill with sap till your leaf buds burst. Take wing, wild geese, calls the voice, fly high, soar hundred miles through an April sky. It's almost April here in Vermont. Amble out, sniff the air, it says next to the bear. Let your brown cubs tumble everywhere. Step out, do not fear, calls the voice to the deer. Come and nibble the new green grasses here. Wiggle out, swim about, says the voice to the trout. Skim the silvery riverbanks in and out. Leap in, little peepers, to the pond and bring your frog pond heartthrob tune to sing. Glide down, wild ducks, to the marsh and rest. Hide a clutch of eggs in a wetland nest. Strut out, tall moose, from your stand of spruce. Walk around, feel the ground, let your bones get loose. Slip in, sleek otters, from the river's side. Splish, splash, and play all day. Make a big mudslide. Come out in the daytime, come out in the night. Come out with the new moon, silent and bright. Fly out, blinking owl, says the voice, fly free. Float over the shadowy woods with me. Skitter out, little mice, but take care. Be wise, the dark has more than a thousand eyes. Swoop out, out swift bat, flutter fast, flitter flit. Snack a moth on the wing, make a meal of it. Shuffle out, slow skunk, snuffle here, snuffle there. Grub for bugs and slugs, food is everywhere. Lope out, wild wolves come out and prowl. It's a fine shiny night for a yip and a howl. Come out, calls the voice, whoever you are. Come out in the dark with the dancing stars. Come children, come parents, come grandparents too. Come out, hear the voice that's calling to you. What voice is that? I am the breeze that is warming the land, the fast flowing river that washes your hand, the green grass at your feet, the white clouds flying high, the seeds in the ground and the wings in the sky. I am the ducklings that hatch in the nest, the rain in the forest, the wind from the west, the violets in a meadow when snow is all gone, the bear cub, the fox kit, the white spotted fawn. I am the voice inside every new thing, the song of beginnings. I am the voice, the song of spring. The end. Wow, spring is bringing so many new things. So many new things are on its way. Flowers and baby bear cubs and one of my favorites, frogs and peepers. What do you think peepers say? Peepers are little tiny frogs that come out in the springtime. Peepers say, peep, 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 peep. I can't wait to hear that. That is definitely a sign of spring. We have to be patient though. It's not quite here in Vermont yet. While we're being patient, I thought I might make a picture to bring all the spring colors into my home while I wait for spring here in Vermont. Here's something you might like to do. If you were with me last week, we made, uh, we did some
color mixing science together and I made some artwork where I mixed colors together and instead of using a paintbrush I used a balloon to paint. Can you tell what I used to paint with this week? Not a paintbrush, not balloons this time. I used one of these. I used a cork to paint with. I got out all of my spring colors and I put my cork in and I made blooms on top of my stems, green stems. You might want to try that at home too if you don't have a cork to paint with. You could use maybe the end of a carrot or you could paint with a paintbrush, of course. Bring some spring colors into your home. To Something else we can do is go outside and look for signs of spring. Like I found the pussy willows. I also found in my yard some green shoots just getting ready to come up through the ground. And in the weeks to come, they'll grow and grow and grow and blossoms will come out on top. I'm excited to watch that happen. Here's another sign of spring we learned about in our book. Birds are making nests and laying eggs inside. That's fun to look for too. I like to help the birds by giving them some nesting materials they can use. It's time for them to make nests, so this is a great time to do it. I have a bag, one of those bags. This one, onions came in, but lemons and limes and avocados sometimes come in these bags. And there's some things that I'm thinking birds might want to use to make their nests. In this picture, you can see that this bird used dried grasses to make the nest. So I gathered some dried grasses. I also know that robins like to use um, pine straw. So I gathered some pine straw from underneath a pine tree. I added some yarn and some ribbon. Wouldn't it be fun to find a nest where a bird used this bright pink ribbon? So I'm going to put all of that into my nesting bag. And then I'm going to take it outside and hang it in a tree. I want to make sure to, to put some of those strings and grasses through the nesting bag so they're really easy for birds to grab onto. And while you're outside, look for other signs of spring. I'm excited to see what you see and what you hear and what you smell. Have fun. I'll see you next time. Bye, friends. Mm -hmm.